Coach, thank you for joining the BCAM podcast. Thanks for having me on. So at the clinic, we've been uh, addressing a lot of issues. One of them is like coming up with an overall coaching philosophy. How did you go about developing a coaching philosophy? Yeah, that's a good question. I, th I think mine developed over, you know, 35 years of being in this profession. And, um, you know, I had a terrific mentor that I actually got to know before I started working with him in Bo Ryan, who's mm -hmm. a Hall of Fame coach from Wisconsin. So just hit all the way back to division three days at uw platteville um of watching him and then being on his staff and just the things that he had in in his program were things that i aligned with how i saw the game uh so then i i coached in junior high coached in high school and then joined him and his staff uh at platteville and and then milwaukee and then at wisconsin so i think it's really um kind of ingrained in that of finding as you search around and i tell young coaches all the time you have to find what aligns with your beliefs and and not chase something that you think what what is you who who are you and and really try to to find that base so to speak and then build from it and obviously i've tweaked and changed things from Bo and um become my own you know you got to be comfortable in your own skin but the foundation i think it lies with what you really believe in coach we have a lot of coaches in our association and they're about to begin their seasons and pick their teams and then build their team how do you go about building a team in the beginning of the year and then throughout the year maybe even be preseason yeah all, all that it takes i think it, it takes a lot i think probably now more than ever um just because in our world we have to deal with the transfer portal and name image and likeness and things that can pull at the fabric of a team um so you you really start just with communication i think is the biggest thing and developing that trust and those relationships with your players and probably high school coaches and youth coaches have it harder because they don't have as much access time as what we do at our level. But uh, I think it really starts and ends with communication and developing relationship and trust. And then you can, you know, and, and making sure you have the right people in your program that are uh, want to be as part of something bigger than themselves. So that's, uh, you know, you're trying to balance all those things at once. Um, but I think the constant communication and constant reminders of we're doing this for each other are important. So we have an aspiring coaches program here in Michigan and the very first thing we do with them is try to crystallize their why. Why do you coach? So let's end this fast break segment with asking, why do you coach? I coach because I was impacted by the coaches I have, or I had, um, all the way back to high schools, where really where I trace my why back to. Um, they had such a positive impact on me that I got into coaching with hopes that I could give half the impact of what they had on me. So really, uh, I think reflecting back to my days in high school and, um, and when I was younger, the, the positive impact and, and the direction and uh, how good those coaches were for me. Coach, thanks for joining the BCAM podcast. Hey, thanks for having me on. My name is Dan Young. I am the executive director of BCAM, the Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan. We are the largest coaches association in the United States. We believe that better coaching always matters. It's a really difficult time to be a coach, but at the same time, it has never been more important time to coach. We couldn't serve our coaches without the support of our sponsors. Rawlings, Huddle, Shoot Away, United Dairy Industry of Michigan, Bology, Game One, Baron Rings, Coaches Insider, Gatorade, and the Detroit Pistons. We encourage our members and listeners to support those who support us.